Hey, my name is Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. And this is a big box of peppers and goodies from Lone Star Mastiff Farms. I'm gonna show you what's inside. I am wicked excited about this. It is pepper season. Such a fun time of the year. And you know the beginning of pod season in particular is really, really fun. So we got all kinds of good stuff in here. All right, so we've got some sauce. Now I've got some really cool stuff to tell you about this sauce. This is sort of funny. It's a great story about this sauce. And then I have a box of peppers. And one more still. All right, so um, let me get to the uh, sauce part of it. All right, so this is their Lone Star Massive Farms White Funk Sauce. <sighs> Look, how cool is that label? The White Funk Sauce. <sighs> so it's really exciting that they're now in doing sauces because, um, you know, I'm a sauce nerd. To be really honest, though, I'm far more of a pepper nerd than I am a sauce nerd. I love, I love hot sauce, but if, I, if they said you have a choice, you can choose hot sauce or peppers, choose now. Peppers all day. All right, now this is the really cool one. Now, I want to tell you something. One of their sauces they've made is made with chocolate cream tallies. But obviously, they grew their peppers. They grew them. So, they had a sauce that was uh, made with their chocolate cream tallies. Uh, this is their orange firestorm. Love the label. Very cool. This one is their uh, Lone Star Master Farm steak sauce, which looks cool. And let me, I'm saving the good one for last. I mean, they're probably all good. But the, the, the one that has the really cool story, I'm saving to show you last. And this is Raspberry Fusion. Oh, does that sound good? Love the label. All right, but they had a bottle uh, that they made with chocolate primatale. Now they sent, I was, originally when I was gonna be writing this book, I was gonna be writing it somewhere else. Um, and it was looking like that was really gonna be where I was gonna be. As a result, uh, they sent me some sauce to this location. And as, what ended up happening was, Plans for that location fell through, unfortunately, and uh, I wasn't able to retrieve the sauce that was sent there. And there was no more. And it's a real bummer because this sauce is, I've heard amazing things about it. He sent me the last of his own personal bottle so I would have a chance to taste it because this is it. So you have no idea how excited I am about this. This is the first time I've ever done a review like this. No one's ever sent me a bottle that was already opened. But because of the nature of this, this is Chocolate Primatale Decadence. So you're gonna see a review of this soon. I'm so excited about that. I love it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what's in the box. What's in the box? If you guys have seen that movie, you know what a scary movie that was. I'm referring to the movie Seven with Kevin Spacey and Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. I didn't think Gwyneth Paltrow was in that movie, but that movie was scary. And now I'm gonna show you What's in the box? Wow. 
These are the different peppers they're growing. Wow. Holy moly, they are growing 346 different varieties of peppers. I know that sounds, on the surface, that sounds like a tremendous number of, pe of peppers. There were 5,000 varieties. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got here. We'll go, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Okay. All right, so we've got this. This looks like a King Star Lemon Starburst. But give me just a minute and I'll tell you, 152. Yes, this is a Kang Star Lemon Starburst. I was right. This looks like a Reaper. Let's see, 315. 315 is a Trinidad Red Cross with a Maruva Yellow. Interesting. Beautiful little pepper. We have a 249. I don't know what this is. Let me see what 240. I'm not going to do it with every one of these peppers, but I'm going to do it with some of the really cool looking ones. This is a purple reaper. Now, this one excites me because this looks like a. This could be something good here. Yeah. Here's a chocolate primatale. Another chocolate primatale. And yet another chocolate cream of tie. It looks like I've got four, three, four. I've got four, oh no. Yeah, oh no, it's not 84. This is not a chocolate cream of tie. What is this? 84 is, oh yeah. Yeah, I have four chocolate cream of tallies. So maybe I'll do a, a challenge with all four of those. This is a monster looking pod. Look at this absolute beast of a pepper. Huh? Look at the size of that thing. All right, this is number 36. This is a, what do you think this is? It's a big mustard mama. Wow, that's an exciting pepper. Uh, this is a cool one. Is this a holiday? What is this? 182. Nope, this is a Naga Viper. Wicked cool looking pepper. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? I don't know if it's better with the light off. Better with the light off? Hmm. This is a monster. This is a yellow Trinidad scorpion, maybe? 154. No, a lemon. I don't think I've ever had one of these. I think I like the light on better. Yeah, I do. A lemon dougla. I've had re regular douglas, a chocolate dougla, but I've never had a lemon. This. This is an exciting pepper. Wow, this is a wicked looking pod. <laughs> I should, I could have guessed this one. You guys know what this one is? You should be able to guess what this one is. That's a spectacular RB003. Ross Barber is creator of that in Australia. Um, what is this little berry? This is a crazy looking little pod. This is a dragon's breath. Pimply little ball. Let's show you a few more. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Solid gold ghost. Boy, is that pretty, huh? This can't be a lemon starburst, could it? Scotch brain yellow. This might be the biggest scotch brain yellow I've seen. That is huge. 
Got a few more to show you. 36, what was 36 again? Is that the Big Mustard Mama? Yep, we got another Big Mustard Mama. That looks beautiful. Now this is interesting. What is this? A Gator Jigsaw? Two, 317. I'm looking for this. I wonder if this is a Gator Jigsaw. This is a... 317. This is a Trinidad Viper Mustard. That's a new one to me, too. That's exciting. Is that a great looking pod? Um, this is a bubble gum. Here's a bubble gum, a yellow bubble gum. Orange. Cubalero, Carbolero. You can, I don't know if you can tell, if you can look through the tape, you can see that the stem is yellow. So this is a bubble gum. Just gonna show you a couple more that we're gonna call it a day. That's gotta be a Purple Reaper, 244. Okay, I'm gonna show you just a handful more and then we'll stop. I'm sorry, I'm just having fun here, you guys. This is uh, 244. Oh, no way. This is a vicious purple gator jigsaw. That's a wicked hot pepper. Now, I got a couple uh, white pepper I want to show you. It's kind of neat. This is number 329. Maybe a white ghost. That's what I'm thinking. White ghost. 329. White Knight, which I think is a ghost. I could be wrong, but I'll have to look. This is 345. This is a cool looking little pepper. This is a zoo pie. No, wait, 343. That's 345. Nope, this is a Trex chocolate. Trex chocolate. Or oh, that's T Rex, my dummy. This looks like maybe ghosty, 306. Oh, a Tiberius Mauler, red. Another new pod for me. So this is exciting. When I get new peppers that I've never eaten before, that's a big deal. Here's a cool looking pepper. I can't tell if that's a five or a two. What is that? I think this is a seven pot Julian. Does that look like a three deal or a five? Because if it's a five, it's a seven pot Primo Yellow, which this is not. And if it's a three, it's a seven pot Julian, which I'm not familiar with. So I'm gonna guess that this is a seven pot Julian, but wow, is it pretty, huh? Gorgeous phenotype. And I've got this thing, 256, what do we got here? Ragnarok, this is an F4. What this means is he's growing it out. This is the fourth generation. Something, there's a little hole in this one pod right there. Something is taking up residence in there. I'll eat it, extra protein. And this is definitely a five. This definitely is a five. So, hang on. This is a seven pot Primo Yellow, he's saying, because that definitely is a five. So maybe the other one's a seven pot Primo Yellow also, but it has a very, very orangey appearance. All right, you know what, let me do one more. This is a pretty cool one. Maybe a Peach Reaper, I don't know what this is. It's a 204, that's what it is, Peach X. Okay, so in addition to that, I have a number of other very cool pods, although I did show you the majority of them. Aren't they excited? So let me uh, recap you on what I'm most excited about. I'm really excited about the chocolate primatales because Lone Star Master Farm grows some wicked hot primatales. Um, although I've eaten this before, a, gold, a, a solid gold, I'm excited about this ghost because it's just beautiful. It's an excellent example. Um, I'm excited about the RB003 just because it's a wicked great pepper. It's beautiful. Have you ever seen a more bumpy pepper in your life. Look at the spikes growing off this thing. Just a wicked, everything on there just says, don't eat me. Don't do it. Um, 
I'm, I'm very, very excited about, uh, what was it, 262. Or no, 267. This is a red adrenaline. Adrenalina, excuse me. Um, but I'm very, very excited about these three peppers. This is just a gorgeous big mustard mama that is just so pretty. And I've had them before, but I'm excited about this one. A lemon uh, dougla. I've never had a lemon dougla, so I'm wicked excited about this one. And then this one here, which is the... This is another really cool looking one. Viper Nagla or something, what is it? Trinidad Viper Mustard. Just a very, very cool pod that I have not eaten yet. I'm really excited. There's some cobwebs in this thing. I will wash them though. These were just picked. I'm super excited about this. Lone Star Master Farms, you're awesome. So we've got a bunch of great peppers that I'll be reviewing, Some a bunch of brand new ones to me. There's enough peppers in here that I'm gonna have to eat a lot of them quick, so there'll be some challenges in there. And we have this to look forward to, the Primitale, Primitale, Chocolate Primitale Decadence. And thank you, Lone Star Master Farms. You guys are awesome. Um, here they are. They're an awesome company. So check them out. Thank you for hanging out with me. That was the unboxing of Lone Star Master Farms. You will see that in the description box. You'll see Johnny Scoville Jr. and the lifeboat on the bottom. And up top, you're going to see pepperology and all of the challenges I've done since my journey began. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.